Okay, so we just picked up this new sewing desk. I'm going to show you how to assemble it quickly and easily and give you a quick review. There's a lot of pieces to put together. Got your manual, hardware, win a $100 gift card. That's neat. Okay, the first step anywhere where there's a hole, you got to put these little silver things here. They just kind of go in. So every one of these goes in place. So you just push them in. See, that's a close-up of how they look. Okay, so you have these chrome circles. You want to make sure that you put it down like this. Pay attention to how I have it lined up. And then there's another piece here. Threads go out. So the thread goes out. This part goes in. And it goes right in, and you just put it like that. If you don't have this part lined up right, this isn't going to fit in. So make certain there's a little tiny arrow right here. But if you don't remember, all you have to do is turn this until it fits in. Like if you have it this way, it won't go in. Once you have it right, it goes right in. Now you have to do this with every single hole. So there's 14 of them. Just do the step I just did 14 times. A, C2, B, H2, F, and G2. I'll get the uh, little circle, chrome circles. They're all labeled so you, it's easy to see. See, another sticker right there. Okay, the next part we're going to do, the top, it's labeled D2. It's really big. And we're going to flip it upside down so the holes are up. And we're going to put the rounded edge closest to the camera. Okay, I just flipped D2 over. It's the, like I said, it's the largest piece and the rounded edge is at the bottom of your computer screen. So next, you're going to insert letter A as I have it. Put it right in there. The metal circles are down, as you can see. And it's not going to stay until you turn the screws a little bit. So, I'll show you. If you don't want it to fall, you got to kind of turn it a little bit. Your Phillips goes in here and you just turn it to the right. So I just turned it clockwise and that tightened it up. Next thing we're going to do is put in, it's the piece labeled F. You want the finished edge, finished edge right here. And then you just line this up here and then you tighten the top. Tighten that until it gets in there pretty, pretty firm. I had to put a board underneath it so I wouldn't fall over. You're going to attach F and C2. F is the top piece there. If you look, the finished edge is towards us. And then C2, which is I have in my hand here. So you got to hold this with one hand. So I just put F in right here, finished edge in. And now I have C2. And I have, you're going to look for those little chrome. If you look, there's those little chrome circles that are at the bottom. That's important. It lines up with these two holes down here. So I'm just going to line that up. And this goes here. The sticker that says C2, it's right here. And now these two tabs line up right here. I'm just going to tighten this all up. Ready tighten. Clockwise. It's pretty good. Don't forget, there was two here. So right there, tighten that. Tighten that one. Okay, now we're going to put the magnet at the bottom of C2. Right here. There's a little hole right there. The screw's gonna go through the middle and that hole. G2 is gonna attach. Notice these parts sticking out. But we have to put very large screws to go from here to here. The longest screw is in the box. Okay, now we're gonna do letter B. You can see the two chrome pieces are down there. There's two holes here. They're going to line up right there. Leave it kind of loose for now. Now we're going to put H2 in. You have the two round uh, metal parts here and here. The long screws are going to go right here. Come in this way. Like that. lines up here you got to hold it ok 
Okay, now we just put the back panel on, Coco. Okay, next we're going to put E in. The holes are here and here. And the hinges and down here using these screws. Okay, now we just put the caster wheels in. It goes over that, which goes in here. All right, all the casters are in. Locking casters here and here. It stops the wheels from going crazy on you. Okay, so you take panel K and you make sure the hole is here and then there's a strike plate right here and it just goes on here and there's two indentations that go inward. I'm just gonna tighten it here. So these hinges are now gonna go on here, right there, and then another one here. Now I do the other side. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put the door on, set it on there. So the hardware for the door is really easy. You just use a brass screw and just screw it in. It's real simple. So there's a screw. And then there's your hardware. Okay, the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna place L on the right. Panel J is on the left. You're going to be putting these three hinges on here. See how the whole pattern lines up? Right angle hinges go here and here. That's how you want to set it up right there. And then we put another one of these caster wheels in here. The bracket goes there. Okay, so we have another strike plate that goes in right here. Okay, it goes like that with the dimples down. Okay, next we put this latch. Notice the foot is down here. These two screws are exactly one inch. They're pretty thin. And then you just put the two screws in here. Okay, while you're here, you might as well put the, the handles in. Let me show you. Um, in this case, I'm going to put my handle down. So I'm just going to Put it in like this, underneath. The other one's gonna go like this, underneath. Let me flip it over so you can see it. So I just kinda got it started, you know what I mean? And then we'll tighten it up later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this door, this big panel here, and we're gonna attach it here. And these screws line up here. There we go, that's a nice angle. So at this point, it's a good idea to adjust your door magnets. Like I can hear it, like grabbing a hold, but just adjust it if you have to. Okay, now open the door up. You wanna get the screws started here, 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 and here. Start to screw it in a little bit and just use the screws you have left. That's all that's left at this point. And don't screw it in all the way and let me show you why. Just get it started. And what's neat about that is, is you can then take your shelf, and your shelf just kind of hangs on there, which is nice. I got all my remaining hardware in there, so you can just tighten that up. At this point, I want to show you something pretty neat here. I can actually raise this up, and this opens. Pretty cool, huh? When that top comes down, this is the part that locks in, so that holds it in place. The shelves come with these dividers here. So if you want to, you can just put the dividers, you know, wherever you want. So these things right here, they just hide the cam. Remember the circular pieces of hardware? So you can go around and put these in if you want to hide the, the hardware. There's one right there, so you would just put this in there. So you can just kind of go around and hide them. The last thing I wanted to show you, these little things here, these are for your shelves. And then once you, you have the plastic sleeve inserted, you just decide where you want your shelves. You just insert these and, and set them up and then put your shelf on there. You can put it, you know, the shelves anywhere you want. 
So there it is, it's all done. What do you think, honey? You like it? And hey, look how much smaller that is. Please subscribe because Crystal needs tuna. You gonna share it with mommy? Well, if Crystal likes it, maybe you should too, right?